you learn what detectives say led up to a double murder in North Phoenix. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ellen McNamara. And I'm Mark Martinez, a mother of five and her boyfriend shot and killed inside an apartment. And tonight, the woman's ex-boyfriend is under arrest. Fox 10's Justin Lum is live with these details. Justin. And here's what we know about the suspect, Stephen Love Mason. He has a lengthy criminal history, including multiple felony convictions. In fact, he did serve time in prison back in 2018. And prosecutors say domestic violence incidents between him and his ex-girlfriend are well documented. She wasn't afraid to tell me if she was in trouble or if she needed help with something. Um, She's like my best friend. Sierra Gamble in heart-wrenching pain. She says her younger sister, 28-year-old Tristan Benali, tried to get away from her ex, 27-year-old Stephen Love Mason, the man accused of shooting Benali and her boyfriend, 23-year-old Martin Lewis, to death. A lot of this stuff is not true. I definitely didn't murder the person I, I did love. Love Mason in court, facing several charges, including first-degree murder. Phoenix police say Love Mason asked Benali's neighbor to knock on her door Monday morning just after 7. Once she opened it, police say Love Mason pushed past her inside and opened fire. One of the mother's five children was home, a two-year-old girl left unharmed. Court docs reveal Benali filed a police report in early October after she claimed Love Mason entered her apartment unlawfully to confront her and threaten her neighbor with a gun. Then she got a restraining order. Love Mason was issued with the order on October 12th. Four days later, Benali called Phoenix police on her ex again for alleged assault. On the 22nd, Love Mason was arrested, booked on several charges, including violation of the protection order. But a week later, he was released from jail. Even a piece of paper won't do nothing. It will not protect you. Gamble is also devastated for the man her sister just started dating. He didn't deserve this. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And Benali's good friend says she wished they stayed in touch before this tragedy. And it's eating me inside. And I'm still shocked. I feel like she's really not gone. Like, she's still here with us. Regarding Love Mason's release last month, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office explained that his case in October was reviewed. Ultimately, charges were forwarded to city court to be prosecuted as misdemeanors, leading to his initial release conditions to be lifted. Quote, prosecutors in this office make very tough decisions every day. It is always our hope that these decisions will protect victims and keep our community safe. And the loss of life in this situation is truly tragic. Now, if you'd like to help the family of Tristan Benali, she leaves behind five kids. We have that GoFundMe information on Fox10Phoenix.com. Live at Phoenix PD, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.